Stephanie Green living here and I know a lot of you guys have um, been taken aback by kind of not being prepared enough for some of the events that's happening right now in our world in our country and so I just want to come on and just give it's not an inclusive list but I just want to kind of kind of come on and give you a start of some things that you should start um, today at Walmart, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, um, Target, wherever you can shop, wherever you can get it, if you can even get out, um, Grove Collaborative, I have an affiliate link with them, um, or whatever, so that you can start building up these things and so you can get yourself a supply that'll help you in times like this when you cannot um, get out or when, you, when there's a shortage. So some of the things that, <clears throat> not in any particular order, are these are more for the category of food is like Ziploc bags um, paper plates can openers um, candles matches foils because these things kind of deal with um, food so I did another video of the staples that you need in your pantry and so these are just the non food items um, a top one on my list as a first aid kit if you can have a first aid kit that's really really amazing if you can have some dish soap that's good because this can be used for lots of um, purposes and just to kind of help everything stay clean and tidy so think about this into kind of groups as far as um, non-food items that are in a food group um, non-food items that are in a hygiene group and then maybe um, non-food items that are in the sanitization or sanitizing group so these plastic bags are going to be really good for hygiene um, but they also can um, become sleeping bags they can also become tents you have to be creative and use your creative juices but there's lots of things that you can do um, with these trash bags along the lines of that I also kind of want to talk about um, how good it is to have some wipes to have some paper towels to have some tissue because those are things that you're going to need for sure um this could probably go into your first aid kit but it's more along the lines of vitamins over-the-counter medications prescription medications um vitamin c things like this are things that you also need to have into your um into your stash the next thing is is something that you may not think about but you really kind of need it too and this is kind of like in the, the category of hygiene you're gonna want some toothpaste some toothbrushes because um, you want to be able to brush your teeth at a time like that and along those same lines you'd kind of be wanting um, like soap and things like that but you know if you're thinking about traveling with a book bag or you're thinking about a small space you know sometimes when you go to these hotels uh, when you travel or when you get little gift baskets or holiday time they have like these little soap samples and lotion samples and they have like these little sewing kits and um, they have these like little vanity kits so this one has q-tips and like a little nail filer and um, things like that are really good because they're small they're compact so it's easy for you to get you know more into that small um, space deodorant <laughs> You definitely need to have, you know, some deodorant um, along those same lines of deodorant. Think about um, sunscreen. Think about bug repellent. Um, those are also things that are really great to have. Um, I'm not sure if I said um, insect repellent or not, but that's that's another one that's good to have. And a lot of times we may not think about this, but if you are a female, you need to really think about making sure that you have some feminine hygiene products. And um, I actually have this Diva Cup, and the Diva Cup has been great. Because think about if you could never go to a store and buy any more um, feminine products again, what, how much would you need to sustain you, or what would you need to sustain you? And so for me, when I think about that and just being um, eco conscious and environmentally friendly, my channel is all about reducing, recycling, reusing, green, healthy, natural, organic. That's my channel, Ethnic Green Living. Um, so then a Diva Cup is a perfect swap. So if you haven't made this swap, I really encourage you to think about a time like this. Um, being able to have something like this would certainly be amazing. So these are things that um, you really should have uh, in place. And then if you have more space, then of course we could get into the um, just a small blanket or a heated blanket. We could also get into maybe um, two changes of clothes and a pair of shoes or a pair of boots. Um, but if you don't have space for that, you can grab all this into like one backpack or, you know, this is, these are things that, um, 
that won't take up too much space and that'll just kind of get you through your immediate first uh, 24 hours or so. You can't make it, you can make it 24 hours or so without new clothes and new shoes, but for sure you cannot make it um, without having um, at least one of these items <laughs> that I have just um, shared here. And then another part of it is if you can have a couple of dollars cash available, um, if you can have um, flashlights available, that would be amazing. Everyone feels different about this, but if you have weapons, you might want to have those available. So um, maybe pocket knife, um, things like that, things that can be used to um, be protection for you um, from wildlife, from others. Um, your prop, you know, to defend your property, etc. So, if you have not started, it's not too late. You know, it's never too late to do what you didn't know. But now that you know, because I've just given you a video to just list off and show you a few items, it doesn't have it to be anything intricate or or grand. Um, I don't have any more um, children in diapers. I have five children, but none of them are in diapers anymore. Um, so, but if you had a baby, baby, you'd want to make sure that, you know, some way or another you had an extra um, box of diapers that was just there. If you're a nursing mommy, an extra box of nursing pads, um, things like that. And so for females, I didn't really talk about hair because at a time when it's an emergency, no one's really thinking about the hair. But if you are thinking about hair like that, what I would suggest is just a hair tie and a brush and you can just kind of add that to the bag and that won't take up a lot of space at all. And lastly, <laughs> if you have a family, because I we are a family of seven, <laughs> how befitting that we're in the homeschool room and I'm right in front of the, the game shelf. If you can slide in just a pack of Uno cards or if you can slide in just a coloring book or some crayons because if you're truly in an emergency, you're having a situation your kids are going to be antsy and they're going to be having a hard time. You're going to be having a hard time. So something like that to take your mind off of what's going on um, in that moment would be really great. And if you are of a faith or the faith, if you could have your Bible or Quran or um, book or whatever it is that you um, study or looking to that would be really really amazing so hopefully this video helps you know get you into gear thinking like okay you know what I don't have that but I do have this and, and I have all these things but let me just put them in a bag and just kind of put it into an area um, that'll work for us so I hope this video inspires you I hope it encourages you you know that you can do a lot with a little and I just want you guys to be prepared to be aware to be awake um, but to love, right, and just be um, patient in this time, okay? Until next time, blessings.